Stefan. And social media, speaking of social media, it is really coming into its own at the moment, isn't it? Because uh, with people going out less, businesses are turning to the platform more and more to interact with potential customers, whilst friends and family are maybe using it as a great way to stay in touch and be entertained through lockdown. So how do you create a better presence online? Well, Rich Brown is a social media specialist at Quick by Design in Derby, and he's running a free online workshop on that very subject on Wednesday. Uh, good evening to you, Rich. Good evening, Martin. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. So what's the key to standing out from the crowd online then? I think the, the thing to bear in mind at the moment is, as you've rightly said, is a lot of people are spending more time online. We, we see that through the analytics that we track for all our clients with, you know, number of visitors to their websites, the amount of interactions they're getting on social media. But we're finding that people aren't necessarily in a position to kind of commit or buy at the moment. We we look at it as more of a, they're in a stage of consideration. So it's about providing content uh, information that people will find useful entertaining interesting and that gives off kind of social signals we call it declarations of interest so they start to kind of visit your website read about the benefits of your services or products you may not be selling to them directly at the moment but it's just them starting to find out who you are and trust you and build up that trust and authority that will help you later down the line it's almost like you're saying you might not be buying something but hello i'm still here Yes, so obviously keep it in front of people's minds at the moment um, through social media can be a, a great tool. We, we've noticed it with a lot of our clients that they obviously don't have that opportunity to go out and maybe attend shows or go to events or meet people face to face to get that um, to get that exposure in front of their potential clients, which is why a lot of people are looking towards social media, particularly things like paid ads, to maintain that visibility. But it's always having that appreciation of obviously with the difficulty that everybody faces at the moment. People aren't really making big commitments around things. Money can be difficult and tight for people. So they're looking at things they are considering. And if you have the right position, if you have the right things in place, you can pick up on these declarations of interest later down the line. And that will help you kind of build your business back up when hopefully when the lockdowns, lockdowns are eased. It's a it's a strange thing, social media, isn't it? Because it's a mm. it's a marketing tool, but it's a marketing tool, yes, for businesses, which I know primarily is what you'll be dealing with. But it's a marketing tool for a person in their own life to you know <coughs> marketing themselves to their to their friends and people who know them in a weird way. What is the thing that most people want to know then about social media when they come to you? Uh, well, when businesses come to us, they obviously want to know how to reach almost their ideal clients. They're curious about how these platforms work. Obviously, millions and millions, almost billions of people use these things every day. And you're absolutely right. Um, people do use them for their own, obviously, personal use. And, you know, they connect with their friends and family. And the thing to remember with the social media platforms as well is almost that their loyalty is to those individual users. So they want you as an individual to have the best experience that you can on these platforms so you keep returning to them, you keep using them again. So that's, again, where they would almost protect you from business posts that are a little bit too salesy. Um, they want you to find content that you find interesting, entertaining, uh, educational, which is why, again, from a business point of view, you should look to kind of put that kind of content out there that people are going to engage with. So people do they do keep asking us how can they reach more people how can they get people to commit and it's just constantly making them aware that people don't like being sold to and also the mm. social media channels don't want you to be selling to people they want you to provide useful content on these platforms that people will find valuable do, do you find that different content works better on different platforms that's like something that would work on facebook might not work necessarily on instagram for example uh, yes, we do. I mean, over, overall, I say kind of video is one of the really powerful tools. It's the platform that it's the it's the type of content that the platforms like. People like consuming that. There's each. It's I find it quite fascinating. Each of these social media channels aren't necessarily that old, but they have very distinct characteristics of themselves, and people will prefer one platform over another. Um, on the whole, though, obviously photos work great on Instagram. Short videos work across across the platform as well as well and people just want to interact with you and hear about what you're what you're up to so we always recommend that people try a variety of content so links to your website photos maybe some graphics videos mix it up a bit because people also want to want to have that kind of variety in their feed and what's the one thing that someone can do to make their profile and their their feed more interesting 
Uh, I'd say probably um, be consistent with it. Um, it's very hard for us to uh, for someone to get in touch with us and say they have X amount of followers on their business Facebook page or have a certain amount of followers on Twitter and to know how much you should expect from that because it will depend how much you post and what you post and when you post. So the key to it all is about just being consistent. Try and be kind of truthful and honest as well. Don't try and kind of be anybody that you're not. But on the whole, having that consistency, posting regularly um, can, can really, really help because then you can start to appreciate what you can expect back and uh, the training course that you mentioned that we've got uh, running on Wednesday which is free to attend is all around this which is all around how to create great content on social media to get your message out there and to stay in front of the right people good stuff rich thank you very much and that training course by the way quick by design is the name of the company so just go and look them up rich brown from quick by design in derby <laughs>